Today we're talking about the mental side of the game of baseball and players' failures. As a baseball player, we have to understand at a certain age, hopefully sooner than later, that baseball revolves around failure. And what you become as a player is going to be defined in how you deal with all the failures involved with the game of baseball. If we let the failures control our actions while we're on the playing field in competition, it's, it's going to lead to bad results. Baseball is a re result driven sport. We want success. We want that gratification all the time. Well, it the, the reality is it doesn't come that easily. And if we let the failures hold us back, it's exactly what it's going to do to us. It's going to hold you back from success. I challenge a lot of players to be able to turn your failures into positives or successes. Treat your failures as something that's come your way. You fail, whether it's an at-bat, an error, whatever it is on the playing field, but then use that to turn it around into a learning experience. Any baseball player at the higher levels will tell you that you're always learning, and the minute you stop learning, the game will catch up and ultimately pass you by. So treat failures on the baseball field as something to learn from and turn it into a positive. When something major happens, a major mistake, um, it might cost you the game on the playing field. Well, in the big picture, it's not that big of a deal, but as far as your baseball career is concerned, it might be a big deal. I would, the, the way you want to go about that as a player is to say, that's not going to happen again. I'm not going to allow that to happen again. A lot of it is mental mistakes on a playing field. A lot of that happens because we're not prepared. We haven't visualized, we haven't prepared for it, we haven't played it out before it already happened. But going back to failures and how we can benefit from them is what's important. You know, the success rates for a hitter are not that good. And, and even at that, you know, to be considered a good hitter, you're still failing more times than not. Errors will happen all the time. Um, not too many players are going to play error-free baseball for an entire season. It doesn't happen. You're going to make a mistake, a mental or a physical mistake. Learn from it. Understand that it's part of the game. It's not only you, the player. A lot of times as a player, we go home and we feel like, you know, it was, I lost the game or it was my mistake that, you know, was the turning point and everybody's down on me and I look stupid. You know, that's another thing at the, at the youth baseball level is, you know, errors are very um, pointed out to the crowd, to the coaches, to the other kids on the team. I mean, when you, when a ground ball goes through your legs, the spotlight's on you. When you strike out, the spotlight's on you. When you drop a baseball, the spotlight's on you. So we can't really hide our airs on a baseball diamond. But they're gonna happen. It has to be emphasized and pointed out to the player that it, is part, it truly, literally is part of the game. Now, as a player, you will define yourself on how you respond to that mistake or error in the future. I always like to use the term, what are you gonna do now? You know, when somebody makes an error, I like to say, well, what are you going to do now? Because a player is either going to let that mistake on the field completely change the way they go about the rest of the game and the rest of their at-bats, the rest of their attempts in the field, and it's going to hurt them. Or they're going to clear the slate, forget about it, and go back to handling what's going to happen next. You know, the next ground ball that will be hit to them, your next at-bat and treat it and be in the moment and treat it in the moment. You know, great players are in the moment all the time. They don't live in the past, okay? They're preparing for what's gonna happen next. They're anticipating, but they're well aware of what's going on right now. So failures are a big part of the game. Embrace it, deal with it, okay? You're, you're gonna make mistakes. 
as long as you play the game. You're going to make physical errors as long as you play the game. Mental errors is more up to us um, to avoid and, and concentrate on. Mental errors can be um, essentially eliminated from our game or close to it if we're very strong in the mind and well prepared. Physical errors will never be eliminated from the game. It'll never be. It'll always be part of the game. Now how you're going to deal with it is the big is the big question. So prepare yourself for it. Understand it and deal with it and, and play the game in the moment.